Hi there everyone, we thought we'd give you a quick uh, introductory doTERRA essential class from the top of Table Mountain. So we'll share with you the view just to get kicked off and uh, we'll give you a bit of an introduction into the essential oils and doTERRA. But pretty amazing to be on top of Table Mountain. So. I think, I think that's a world first class from the top of Table Mountain. <laughs> okay, so um, we just want to quickly tell you a little bit about ourselves as well. Um, not too much. Uh, I am, well Craig and I moved when we were just in our 30s, hey? we were yep. just youngsters when we moved over to Australia and we came from the Eastern Cape, um, lived in Port Elizabeth, I was from Jeffreys Bay and Craig was from East London and yeah. King Williamstown and so we met when we were just babies we were 18 when we met and and um, studied at University of Port Elizabeth and then when we had our first little our little boy we, we moved over to Australia um, yeah I think he was just almost two years old when we left um, Craig's been in finances and I've been in the natural health as a practitioner as a naturopathic doctor um, and I've lectured in natural health as well. So um, I think when the oils came in for us, um, it was just a natural extension for us uh, in terms of the way that we choose to live our life in a natural way um, and also the way that we raise our families in terms of, you know, just toxin-free um, way of living. Hi there, so we're on top of Table Mountain and welcome to our introduction to essential oils class. It's so cool to be in South Africa. Um, so let's tell you a little bit about essential oils. Um, from my side, it's fantastic to have access to these products. Um, I constantly get cold sore, fever blister and um, just being able to grab, for me, lemongrass or um, Melissa, I've got expensive tastes, but lemongrass um, has been a wonder to help sort it out and just to have that in the house has been really really cool mm. and have it accessible and then it smells nice too so I really like that too so yeah welcome to our class I'll quickly tell you a little bit about um, from my perspective as a naturopath as well um, and how the oils have been incredibly incredibly powerful uh, in my clinic space and also in our home um, I just started using and, and using the oils myself a few years ago and I decided that this was a good thing to try on my clients and um, they would be my guinea pigs as with my family and uh, the results and the response to the essential oils were just absolutely phenomenal and um, before I knew it uh, we were creating accounts uh, for my clients and they love it and they love me because suddenly they have something so powerful at home and it really does cut the cost of health care and, and wellness care for them um, and for all my clients and so also for you when you have something that you can use at home. So I just find these oils the most magical thing on the planet to be honest. Okay, so we're going to just launch into the class and um, you would have a little class sheet like this in front of you. You can make sure um, to just write down any notes that you have. Um, any questions that you have as we go through and uh, just sort of think about what you might want to use these essential oils for and in fact there is a little section on this class sheet um, and the bottom right hand corner on the sheet that I'm using today that's going to just ask you uh, to think about the top three health challenges or needs for you and your family so as we go through the um, the class think about those and then you'll have an opportunity to write those down and and we can discuss those in a little bit more detail. So I'm gonna just start with what are essential oils. Um, they're pure extracts from plants. Um, some of you may have actually used essential oils before, uh, and some of you may have used it and never even knew you were using an essential oil. So um, they're 50 to 70 times more powerful than any herbs that you can use, and I'm used to using herbs in my clinic, um, but now I've got powerful essential oils that I can use. Uh, they are nature's defense mechanism for plants um, and the plant cells um, and they are used anciently and throughout history for, for health benefits so we know that even in ancient times and old Egyptian you know in Egyptian times a long long time ago they've used um, essential oils as well they're highly concentrated one drop of peppermint essential oil is 
the same or has the same, I guess, therapeutic value, if you like, and strength and power as 28 cups of peppermint tea. So one drop of oil, same as 28 cups of the herbal tea that you would have. A safe, effective, affordable, and an alternative to synthetic remedies. Okay, Craig, you want to do that part? Yeah, sure. So um, I think it's really important to realize that what essential oils do is they don't actually mask anything, um, but they're really treating the problem. So yeah. it's getting to the root cause. So what is the essential oil as far as a solution for your health? Well, they don't replace traditional medication. However, they provide a natural and alternative um, commonly used medicine. So choosing to use essential oils is a way of bringing some natural solutions into your life mm. and having them at home means you can grab hold of them um, at any stage when you need them. So there are hundreds and hundreds of natural compounds that have many, many health and healing properties. And the nice thing about getting involved is there are a number of apps and books that you can grab and just start researching for yourself and your family what works for you and your health. So it has the ability to treat the problem and not just mark, mask the, the symptoms, which is really great. Mm. So the option um, to take informed health care is really, really important because you're starting to be proactive about looking after yourself um, and keeping yourself and your family better and well, which is really important. Um, absolutely no known side effects, um, which is really important and safe for the whole family. So we've got folks in our teams that have used essential oils from the birth of their kids um, and right through to elderly that use them. So really, really safe if you use them in the right way. The yeah, family. I think that's important, Craig, just um, to uh, be using the essential oils. They are powerful, powerful medicines and therefore when we use it, we need to learn how to use it safely and appropriately. Um, and yeah, we will basically will um, share that information um, with our teams as we go along is how to use it safely so uh, that's actually the next point that we want to talk about why do we use doTERRA essential oils well first of all um, they are safe to use okay so the fact of the matter is you're buying quality essential oils through doTERRA the highest quality possibly on the planet um, and they have established for the company a standard that they call CPTG and it's the standard of purity. Now CPTG stands for Certified Pure Tested Grade and their processes when they put it through um, the essential oils through their testing processes there's nothing and no other company on the planet that use the same processes and then the same number of processes um, so you know, these guys at Oterra produce absolute 100% quality. And the plants, what's really, really cool about doTERRA is that the plants that they use um, for the, their essential oils are grown and the oils are harvested in their natural habitat. So, for example, in Nepal is where wintergreen grows naturally and they actually harvest it there and they also distill it right there on site. So um, that comes to the last point as well in terms of affordability because a lot of middlemen are cut out in, in this. It's the actual farmers and harvesters and the people on the ground, the growers, who benefit from uh, doTERRA's essential oils. Um, so each batch undergoes multiple third-party tests for purity as well. doTERRA um, has their own and they've probably got the best testing equipment. I know they've got the best testing equipment in the world but they still do some third-party testing as well. And so yeah basically the purest oils you can find in the world and therefore it's therapeutic. So keep that in mind. You cannot just go buy something off the shelf at Diskim or something like that even though it says it's got organic grade on it. I tell you what the grade makes a difference in their different grades of essential oils and different purities so this is why doTERRA sets the standard in the world they're effective so the plants produce essential oils to fight their own threats such as molds and fungus and viruses and bacteria and what's really incredible about essential oils they're so effective because they can get inside the cell 
your body, they can get inside, they can go through the membranes. So um, they can actually eliminate those things like parasites and bacteria and viruses from inside the cells. Okay, this is not something that medical uh, uh, medications can do. It, is, it can't do that. So um, it's highly effective um, for healing and health. And the essential oils can help you take control of your health naturally okay and you can read into that whatever you like but we are natural human beings and you know chemistry and drugs from a chemist and a, it's it's not a natural way of supporting our health um, and long term it's actually quite bad for you so we're looking at the essential oils for a natural um, option and then it's affordable and I said that it's, it's affordable because it's the purest oils on the planet it is therapeutic you need one drop sometimes just one drop um, and it has incredible effects so if you look at the fact that you only pay a few cents per drop and you look at that compared to what you might pay for a Panadol or a you know, <laughs> um, oh, a lot of the drugs, are the really drugs expensive. is really expensive and you guys would know that in terms of your medical care is that it's getting more and more and more expensive and so what we're learning through doTERRA and through our customers and through people who are using as the testimonials are that um, they don't go to the doctors as often or to the chemists as often because um, these oils are supporting them in a natural way in their health so um, and the beautiful thing about these essential oils is if you have them at home it really really empowers you in terms of your own health at home and you can basically you don't have to wait to go to a doctor or stand in lines to go to a clinic um, you've got something right there at home in your hands Okay. So um, I think just on the affordability, it's really important to remember that um, a 15 ml bottle is 250 drops. Yeah, that's right. So that's a lot of drops of essential oil, and the 5 ml is around 74 or 75 drops. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, when you are working out the cost, think about how far it's going to go as part of that as well. Um, so how do you use essential oils now? In um, some other countries around the world, um, we can talk about the essential oils being used in three ways, internally, topically, and aromatically. In South Africa, it's really important that we focus on um, topical and aromatic, um, because that's how it's been approved coming into the country. At the moment. <clears throat> At the moment. At the moment. So, um, from a topical point of view, essential oils are really, really powerful and just one drop of essential oil can actually service and get to all of the cells in the body. It spreads around really, really quickly. And what do you, where do you put them? So um, you can actually apply them on the bottom of your feet, surprisingly enough, and that'll enter the bloodstream within 30 seconds. So it seems really weird that if you want to um, get essential oils in your body, you're going to rub them on your feet, but um, it's been proven to be one of the best ways of getting it into your body. And also if you don't like the smell of a specific oil, because you know we're not in the perfume industry here, we're in the medical natural health industry, so if you don't like the smell of it, then you stick it under your feet, and it's also really nice for the little ones, um, because the skin is a little bit harder and a more robust skin, I guess, there's, um, it's just a nice way to apply it for, for little ones, for kids as well. That's it. And obviously, um, by applying topically, you can get immediate comfort or relief. Specifically, I mean, I think of something like lavender, um, being able to rub that on. There you go. It's lavender. Brought an example. <laughs> but just on something like um, skin relief or sensitivity, um, lavender is so good to help soothe topically with an immediate comfort, which is great. Mm. Um, you can also apply it, to the, as I said, to the feet, but to the back of the ears, um, the on your chest and back of the neck. Um, or massage your head or any troubled areas. Obviously there's things like the ice blue or deep blue um, rub in South Africa which is amazing for aching muscles and, and sore parts. You don't parts have the rub yet. Is that? No, so sorry, the ice blue oil or deep blue oil. Um, and that you can just rub on any troubled area. Um, obviously use with caution and this is where Tess said earlier that you need to understand how to use the oils carefully and, and in the right way. Um, and dilute is a great way to go. You know, if, if you want to um, just be careful, then dilute it. There are dilution guides available. 
Um, and if you get on Google or check on our website, there's information on how to dilute them as well. So use them with caution in sensitive areas. Certainly be really careful not to get it in your eyes or in your ears um, and in your nose. Or any orifice in your body. Yeah, on your there body. Are certain <laughs> spots you do not want to get something like the ice blue oil <laughs> yeah. um, because you'll probably be in a bit of um, unrest for a while. Um, and then, as we said, for sensitive or, or people with sensitivity, um, then definitely use um, dilution and use a fractionated coconut oil or any of the. Or um, coconut oil or jojoba oil. oil. Coconut oil is the best one probably to use um, because it draws into the skin a bit better than, than any other oil. So that's topical. Um, then aromatic is um, the second one. Inhaling it aromatically um, is fantastic and we absolutely recommend that you use a diffuser. Um, get yourself a diffuser that um, is a water-based sonic diffuser. Um, there will be more and more of those available in South Africa and obviously doTERRA will, will have them and have them as well. Um, please don't um, use candles and burn essential oils. Um, it's really not good for the oil itself and high heat actually breaks down and, and you will lose a lot of the therapeutic value of these essential oils. So use them in a water-based um, diffuser. That's really important. So inhaling the essential oil has an extreme power and effect, um, particularly on your mood. And I think any of you would know that um, sometimes you might be walking down the street and you smell um, waffles, for example, and you'll get this amazing recollection of a past experience um, and you'll get a feeling of happiness or excitement from when you were a kid eating ice cream or whatever it was. And in the same way, that aromatic effect of these essential oils is unbelievable. Mm. Just, and I know I'm um, probably the first one coming home from work, just firing up diffusers all over the house and putting oil in there because that aromatic effect is amazing to bring you back down, relax, and just has an unbelievable effect mm. on emotion. So at any stage, um, as you're getting into these oils yourself, don't forget to use the oils yourself aromatically because the emotional benefit is, is mm. phenomenal, really, really important. Um, absolutely can be used to kill germs in the air through diffusing aromatically. Um, definitely eases breathing, so if people are struggling to breathe and, and are having lung or congestion issues, um, then certainly think about aromatic as well. So, And if you don't have a diffuser yet, just think about using a drop of essential oil, like I showed just before <laughs> while Craig was talking. Um, a drop in your hand, rub, and then breathe. And breathe if Nice, nice and deep breathing and then go wash your hands okay because you don't want to touch um, eyes or anything like that so beautiful. I think you can also just pop a drop on your pillow if you're yeah. using lavender or serenity or lavender peace um, just beautiful. to help you relax or um, as I said maybe something like the easy air or breathe if you're struggling to or if you've got congestion on the chest and you're just looking for that aromatic <coughs> relief drop on the pillow or on a tissue on okay. the pillow Really good. All right, so um, with doTERRA and uh, what they're offering and, and how they're, they're going to be offering more and more product in South Africa as well, it's really about thinking about for us as a, as a base for our health and our wellness. It's a, it's a really good uh, way of building on that foundation for our health and wellness. So good nutrition and supplementation. Um, is also very important. So at the moment, doTERRA hasn't got their lifelong vitality approved, um, the TRIO in South Africa, but that will come for sure. So we're always looking at the lifestyle and the doTERRA lifestyle. Um, and we say that there's this wonderful base of, you know, we've got to think about eating right. We've got to think about doing exercise, we've got to think about managing our rest and our stress, we've got to think about reducing our toxic load. And so with the essential oils, it can support every part of that for us. Okay, I cannot talk to you in South Africa about eating and adding essential oils to your food for flavoring because we don't, I cannot talk about it um, for internal use. Um, exercise, <clears throat> you know, when we exercise, we need uh, perhaps a little bit of support on the muscles and the joints sometimes and doTERRA has essential oils that can support that and we're going to talk a little bit about um, that in a minute uh, about a few different essential oils that can support that um, managing rest and stress so again there's essential oils that can help us 
to have a more restful sleep and help us as Craig was saying just to manage our emotions a lot better we use the oils for emotional health um, all the time I, there's one that you have in South Africa available called balance uh, balance is one of those oils that I love just mm. putting on my wrists um, every morning I like to do that uh, I sometimes forget to do it but <clears throat> it really just helps to ground me for the day and and give me a good strong base to start off with and I put it behind my neck and also on my heart space um, and of course to reduce the toxic load my goodness you just have to google how many products uh, natural products there are that you can add a, a drop or two of essential oils to and you've got your own um, cleaner uh, you know you can make up your own all-purpose cleaner you can you clean your bathrooms and kitchens and um, there's nothing that works as well as some lemon um, in, a, in a sink for example so um, it's a, in, in the end this is about empowering you and ourselves with some informed self-care and this is something I think we want to stress here is that this is about finding something to support you naturally and also for you to learn about okay so it's about self-empowered informed um, self-care um, and make a note of that because we're not here to be um, the know-alls and the be-alls of, of all the knowledge that we want to pass on to you it's about you guys also learning um, anyway it's quite a proactive way of looking at your health and wellness so there's these three things that I spoke about earlier that I would like for you to think about now what your top three health challenges or needs would be for you and your family <coughs> It could be stress, it could be sleep, it could be digestive stuff, it could be what else? It could Anything. Be toxins. It toxins could be in the home. Just pets. wanting to clean up the house from all the chemicals and stuff that are Absolutely. all around you. So, um, so anyway, um, think about that, and, and and you'll know if you've got some top priorities. And then make a few notes now on your on your little sheet because we're going to just quickly zip through some of these essential oils. Okay, Craig, you want us to start with peppermint, lavender and this row and then I'll do yeah, sure. a few so, of the other ones. Thanks. The nice thing about um, getting started with doTERRA is that you can actually choose um, an enrollment kit where doTERRA have actually pulled together um, at least sort of the 10 most popular and most used oils. Mm. And they do that for a really important reason because um, you'll probably find that of these sort of 10 most popular, you'll be able to find uses for them in some of those things, if not all of them, that you've just highlighted um, that's important for you and your family. But how do you use them? This is, this is kind of the important thing. So let's just run through a couple of them. The first one, um, which is probably the most popular and will, will be everywhere, is peppermint. Um, so peppermint's actually sourced in the USA from Washington State. Um, it has menthol um, in it, really, really powerful. And when you smell the doTERRA peppermint, you will know that this is pure peppermint essential oil, I can assure you. You get like a little hit, or it just opens up your lungs. It's really peppermint beautiful. Shot. Um, it's very invigorating, opening the lungs, um, and it's an amazing way to just give yourself a wake up and a boost if you're ever feeling a little bit lethargic. And um, It's great to calm the stomach um, and help with head tension while we have a, an airplane going overhead in the uh, <laughs> table mount. It was just white. <laughs> Cool. So peppermint is um, sourced in the USA in Washington, uh, has menthol in it, really, really powerful and invigorating on the lungs, can help calm the stomach and help with head tension, as we said, rub behind the ears, uh, increases alertness and focus and helps cool the body really, really well. Mm. Um, so what about lavender? You've been parading lavender. Oh, around, lavender yeah? would be one of my favorite, one of the favorite. essential oils. Um, smells divine. Sourced from France um, and contains linalool. Now, if you want to do some research, have a look at linalool, but it has a really soothing effect on the body. Mm -hmm. um, soothes irritated skin, can calm bee stings and insect bites. Uh, soothes with emotion, soothes emotions and supports restful sleep and breathing. Um, an oil you've got to have in the house. Talk about frankincense known as the king of oils. So sourced from Oman, um, Somalia and other areas of North Africa. Um, very good and nourishing for the blood and the brain and used topically to beautify the skin. Um, good 
um, for aches and pains and we always say when in doubt use frankincense because it is the king of oils. Beautiful, yeah I love frankincense. I'd say frankincense and lavender would be the oils that you probably find the most use out of and frankincense is just, every household must have frankincense. It's fantastic, it's just the best oil. Um, <clears throat> tea tree, yay it comes from Australia. So <laughs> um, You would know tea tree maybe as Melaleuca. Um, you can just think about tea tree in terms of it just kills bacteria and bugs and things like that so it's very antibiotic in nature and so you can add it to shampoo to nourish your scalp you can apply it topically, topically for your skin just think about skin conditions and you know you can add that um, in a, um, a cleanser maybe even um, it's good for your feet and your toenails, so anything that needs to be sort of cleared out there and killed off on the toenails, you know what I'm talking about. It's good for your mouth and your skin, so um, think about a gargle as a mouthwash or something like that. Any sores or rashes, anything like that, so it's great for the skin topically and um, it's also quite amazing if you were to put that, you know how people, little ones often get some ear discomfort, a little achiness, put it on a cotton wool and stick it in there. Tea trees are very, very underutilized essential oil I think, but um, fantastic. I throw it in my wash and every one of my washes I throw it in. Oregano, not the best smelling essential oil, but it's an incredible, incredible um, support for the immune system. Um, so again, sort of things like feet and toenails and, and everything else can go there. Lemon is one of my favorites. Okay, lemon, beautiful. When you open a lemon, it, you just get that incredibly beautiful freshness of, of, of lemons if you feel like you're walking right through an, uh, a lemon orchard in Italy. So it's very good to soothe a, a, an irritated throat. Um, and it neutralizes odors, so fantastic for cleaning around the house. Now, the thing is it naturally breaks down petrochemicals and it does that in your body as well. So it's quite detoxifying in your body, that's all I'm going to say. And the other thing is because it breaks down petrochemicals, you never want to use the essential oil of lemon in plastic containers. You always want to use glass that includes cleaning sprays and that just use it in a glass bottle uh, or you can use it in a stainless steel container. Never plastic because it will break it down. Okay and then um, as an antioxidant and a detoxifier I said and it's fantastic to elevate the mood as well. You want to quickly talk about Ice Blue and Easy Air? Sure. Um, ice, blue, ice Blue as I mentioned is fantastic if you're into the exercise or if you've got achy muscles anywhere. Um, it's a really good blend that doTERRA has put together to nourish muscles and joints. Um, rub it on the arms and legs before and after exercise, really tingling sort of sensation um, but fantastically and obviously natural. Applied to tired and aching joints and used for a deep tissue massage, really, mm. really great. But remember, please wash your hands after using Ice Blue. You don't <laughs> want to get them where you don't want it. Mm. Um, Easy Air is also um, known breathe. in some places mm. as Breathe. Mm. Um, so it depends on how it's been registered in the different countries. Easy Air is another really cool blend of um, the essential oils. It's one that I always carry with me. Um, nourishing on the lungs and sinuses, diffuse it at night for healthy and restful breathing, which is great. Um, and put two or three drops on the chest or bottom of the feet as needed um, to help with respiratory seasonal discomfort mm, so as I've, the seasons are changing. Exactly. I've just come through a bit of a chest infection and came through it with the use of a lot of that easy air in the diffuser. Um, and it's very calming at night time if you diffuse it for someone who's coughing and spluttering and um, it's really, really good. So then we also have, um, quickly just mentioned, Smart and Sassy. That is a metabolic blend and um, so it does help with uh, a healthy metabolism. It also helps to break down petrochemicals in the body, so detoxifying. So keep that in mind and it supports energy. So people who want to get through a day and, <clears throat> and just have a little bit of extra energy, you can diffuse that. I actually really like the smell of Smart and mm, Sassy. Great to diffuse. Yeah, it's actually really lovely. It lifts the mood. 
and it also calms your gut so it calms the stomach down anything to do with the stomach and digestion and helps to manage hunger and cravings as well so you can also use it topically just on your arms on your legs your feet it helps with that energy so um, use that digest zen is the next one it's called zen zen jest in south africa and um, <clears throat> that is probably one of the oils that gave me my first experience of just calming my digestive system down um, I started personally I started to bloat after eating something that I normally could eat and well, I started to bloat and then I put some of the digestion topically over my stomach and I diluted in some coconut oil and just rubbed it over my tummy and within five minutes I was fine mm -hmm. so that was my first wow moment with the um, with the oils so yes you can do that to calm your gut down and um, around meal times for motion sickness driving uh, nausea uh, anything to do with the gut okay you apply two and two to three drops on your stomach and maybe just lastly I'll just do this one mm -hmm. on guard so on guard is there to protect you from um, anything that may attack the immune system a little bit so it's also really good and as a mouth rinse um, diffusing it fantastic uh, especially when you're feeling unwell you know uh, winter winter illnesses and those sorts of things uh, fantastic just putting it under the feet I do that still Craig I, yeah. I still put every night I put two to three drops of I actually have a roller that I've made up with on guard and I put that under my feet and I go to bed every night with that um, it contains clove oil which is nature's most powerful powerful antioxidant oil um, so there you go those are the top oils that you'll find in your family essentials kit great so you know a little bit more about the different oils so how do you actually get them the great thing is that um, doTERRA is now officially launched in South Africa and have a warehouse in Johannesburg. So delivery is within two or three days, which is absolutely amazing and really exciting. So how do you get the oils? You really have two options. Um, firstly, you can choose a kit to get yourself started as an enrollment kit. Um, and if you do that, you become a member and you get a wholesale account and that gives you um, at least 25% discount on the recommended retail price going forward. So you can buy the kit and then you can buy as and when you want whatever essential oils you might need because when you get registered you get a log on to an office and you can just log on and choose whatever oils you want, place an order and as I say it will get delivered to you from Johannesburg which is great. If you don't want to start with an enrollment kit then you have the option in South Africa of paying 445 Rand as an annual membership and that gives you access to buy the oils at wholesale price. So you don't start with a kit, you just pay the 445 Rand and then you can select whatever individual oils you want and you can select them as and when you want as well. There's no, no obligation to buy any particular amount or any number or whenever. Um, it's up to you um, as how you want to use them. Um, really important for us also just to mention the doTERRA loyalty rewards program. Now this is a fantastic way to save even more um, on buying the oil. So what do I mean by that? So you can be rewarded for making ongoing monthly purchases. Um, you receive product points from regular purchases every month and those points can be used or redeemed to buy extra doTERRA product. And the longer you participate in this loyalty program, the more product points you can earn each time you buy. So when you start on the loyalty program, you will get 10% of what you're buying back in points. And as you continue to order, until you get through to month 13, if you do it for 13 months, you will actually get 30% of what you're buying um, every month back in points. Um, so in, in reality you're saving 25% on the retail price plus you can be getting 30% back in points. So there's almost 50, well, 55% effectively um, that you're getting back to be using to buy yourself more oil. So we absolutely recommend the loyalty program especially if this is something um, that you want to use in your life and with your family um, and start getting into a natural healthy way of living and as doTERRA increases the products available uh, in South Africa you'll be able to um, have a really really broad selection. Um, 
you can also receive a free product of the month if you're on this loyalty program and if you order the way you do that is if you order 125 points worth of product um, in that month on a loyalty program and you place that order before the 15th of the month then you will qualify for the free product of the month so again another really really good way um, for you to get free product and who doesn't like free stuff exactly. that's really good and importantly no lock-in contracts um, and you've got the freedom to cancel the loyalty program or not order any month if you like that's important yeah. and something that is also really beautiful that doTERRA um, is giving us as the um, loyal customers is if you put an order in and you pay your shipping they actually give you back points for your shipping costs as well so there you go um, and points back means free product for you Definitely. okay folks so um, there's more to talk about the loyalty rewards program of course and always reach out if you have any questions around that we certainly recommend the loyalty rewards um, program or the monthly ordering program especially to replace as you go replace your own essential oils to buy a gift for for someone as well um, and to try and and you know have use new products um, every month maybe add something new to your collection as well um, okay so there's this last thing that we want to just share with you um, in this class and that is that there are three ways to become an oil user that will benefit your life and so the first way is to actually live the lifestyle um, and uh, basically take charge of your health and your your well-being so by using doTERRA's essential oils um, enhancing your lifestyle earning free products with a loyalty rewards program and then we also teach and become part of communities where we are definitely teaching about informed self-care and self-empowerment and learning more about natural health and wellness um, and just encouraging people to take a proactive role in their health so you'll be buying the oils for yourself and enjoying this as a lifestyle um, as you go forward so that's living the way the second way is sharing it okay so you want to share maybe you, you have an experience like we've had why would you keep quiet about it you know we share with people when we go to a great restaurant we, we tell them about the the restaurant um, and when we see a fantastic movie we tell people hey you've got to go see that movie it's really really good so if you have a fantastic product that's working for you and your family and someone else is in need you have an opportunity to actually help your friends and other people by sharing the essential oils with them as well so um, that could mean that just inviting them over to experience some uh, a class and learn a little bit more about the essential oils and when you host a class you can actually earn um, the rewards for sharing the oil because doTERRA will happily pay you a little commission for sharing their product with someone else and <clears throat> I guess it's about just knowing that w when you're sharing these essential oils is that there will always be support available through through us and through our team um, and someone can come and help you do a class if you host it and invite the people and yeah we just want to basically share with people that doTERRA is the safest and most therapeutic essential oils um, available to us today um, it has the best benefits it's very beneficial and of course the last one is uh, what we certainly do with our spare time <laughs> is um, we're building a, a business and and you can do that too so a business can mean anything uh, in the end it will supplement your income it will definitely pay for your own essential oils every month and uh, it could go as far as completely replacing your income uh, and build this there's no ceiling to this this can go you can you can go with this business not just in South Africa you can go global with um, doTERRA it's an, an open the world is your oyster basically and so doTERRA offers you the opportunity to supplement or replace your income um, 
you know, just whatever level of involvement you feel is appropriate for you um, and have a go. So the opportunity is there to become financially free when you want to start building a business. And um, basically, we always say that at the end of a class, we'll say, if someone else invited you to watch this video, or when you're ho hosting a class in person, is please send th those people back, go back to the person who invited you to this class, because you are their contact. And, and you sharing that with someone who, you know, you can enroll with that person. And this is how the business works and it's very beautiful. It's a very connected business. We're a wonderful community, wouldn't you say, Craig? Absolutely. You know, we make, make friends through this business and we support one another to really, really rise and do so much better for ourselves and our families and our friends. So, any last words from you, Craig? No, that's it. Um, if anyone has any questions, please reach out to us. Um, send us a message or a WhatsApp or email. Give us a ring. Um, we're really excited about South Africa kicking off. Mm. I think it's an amazing mm. opportunity. It's one we've certainly mm. been working on for a good couple of years. Mm. Um, so hopefully that gives you a little bit of an insight into the essential oils class. Um, and if you think this is something you keen to do yourself and you want to be a sharer or a builder, please say hi and uh, let us know how we can help you. Fantastic.